Okay, um, I've done this with the MYP3 and 2s, and I'm going to do this with the MYP5s next time we meet. So pay attention. We've done this little text, which is uh, basically going to help you to remember the possessives. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to read it once, and um, then we will analyze it together. So... Mon chien, which is my dog, of course, est malade. Just a second, I need to, yeah. Mon chien est malade. My dog is sick. Ma mère, my mother, and as we have seen, here it is mon and here it is ma because... The object is what is important. So this is masculine, so it is mon. This is feminine, so it is ma. <coughs> but they both mean my. Mon chien est malade. Ma mère parle avec ta mère au téléphone. My mother talks. With, this is important, you need to know this, with your mother at the telephone, with the telephone. So, ma, my, ta, your, ma mère, ta mère, my mother, your mother. Le docteur est là. The doctor is here. This is a new word. And this means there, literally. It has a little bit of a distance. Um, but in this case, it means here. He is in. <clears throat> He is over there. We will see more about this later on. Son aide. We make the liaison here because there's a vowel. Son aide prend notre chien. His or her assistant. And why is it son? Because there is a vowel. So in this case, we do not know if it is a woman or a man. We will know if there were more in the text about that particular assistant. But as we hear it here, we do not know if it is a woman or a man. And this is the exception, just like mon ami. We didn't know if it was a girl or a boy. If you have any more questions about this exception, please come to talk to me after class. Son aide prend notre chien. His assistant takes. This is an irregular verb and we're going to look at it together in school. Um, it's an introduction to a new verb. So, son aide prend notre chien. <coughs> Sorry. Une famille est ici. Ici has the same color as la because it is also a placement. It means here. And it's closer than la. Here, there. Une famille est ici. Don't forget the liaison, est ici. Leur chat. Now, the MYP3s have done this. The MYP5s haven't done this yet. But I'm going to go on. Leur chat, their cat. And because it is one cat, there is no S. So it is one cat for many people. Leur chat est malade aussi. <coughs> their cat is also sick. Here there was supposed to be a little... Um, Let me see if I can put it. Yes, I can. Votre. 
And it's the same for notre. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. So again. So, votre chien est beau. Your dog is beautiful. And this is the plural, your. I in uh, Danish, I think. Les parents. The parents. Caress, that's also a new verb, but it is not in color because it is from the first group. So basically, if you know your endings, you can conjugate this easily. It's the verb caresser. And you take the ending off and you put e, e, s, e, etc. We have learned this. <coughs> way back. So, les parents caressent leurs enfants. Now, if we could not read this text, we could we could understand, we would be able to understand that we're talking about a lot of children because we put the s. Leurs enfants, it makes a liaison. If it was one child, it would be ils caressent leur enfant. Okay, so here we can hear that it is plural. Many people, one object. Many people, many objects or people. Ton chat, your cat. Same thing as ta mère. Only here it's feminine and here it's masculine and that's why it's changing. Ton chat est aussi très beau. So, I'm going to say it once again. Please repeat after me. Mon chien est malade. Mon chien est malade. Ma mère parle avec ta mère au téléphone. Ma mère parle avec ta mère au téléphone. Le docteur est là. <coughs> Sorry again. Le docteur est là. Son aide prend notre chien. Oh, there it is. Just a second. There it is. And this should be in color. Hmm. Just a second. Let's see if I can change it now. No, I can't. Well, this is in color, so. Son aide prend notre chien. His assistant takes our dog. Une famille est ici. Leur chat est malade aussi. Votre chien est beau. Les parents caressent leurs enfants. Ton chat est aussi très beau. Now, as I said to the MYP3s, you need to know this by heart because this is not, this um, text was made for just one purpose that you remember all your possessives. So when you have an exercise to do or when you have to um, use your possessives, if you know this little text by heart, you will remember, how do I say my? Okay, it's a feminine, so it's ma. So this, I'm not expecting you to be able to read it and um, perfectly say it, but I do expect you to be able to write it. And I do expect you to be able to use it as a reference when you use to when you need to use your um, your placement. So good luck. Uh, have a nice weekend, and we will talk next week. Bye. <laughs>